What is SEER? In today's video, we're going to take to the streets and ask homeowners who can spend tons of money on a heating and air system and may not really know what they're buying. Heating and air professionals throw ratings around like SEER left and right. A lot of times folks don't really know what they're talking about. Let's hear what some of those homeowners had to say and then I will clear up some confusion. What is SEER? Sears is a store that is in a lot of malls. I think they're closing now, so that's what Sears is. That company that went out of business, Sears. <laughs> Sears, that store that closed down, they used to, just kidding. Um, Sear, I think is a part of the thermostat. Something with the fan spinning? <laughs> I don't know. What is Sear? Season, or, I'm about to tell you what it stands for. S-E-E-R, uh, Sear. <laughs> nothing the acronym that I would have. <laughs> mm, something doing with seasonal environment. I don't know. I have no idea. What is SEER? S-E-E-R. SEER. So I'm not 100% sure what it actually stands for, okay. but it's in it some kind of like measurement of how much space you have that you need to uh, have your air conditioner condition the air of or cool the air. That's my guess. I know there's like certain numbers that you get for it, seven, eight, nine, whatever. Uh -huh. uh, that's, if I had to guess, if I remember correctly, that was somewhere near the correct answer. I've got more answers coming to you from homeowners, but before we get there, let me just say, if you're getting any value out of this content, if you want to see more videos in the future with behind the scenes tips and things that a lot of folks don't even want homeowners to know, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Let's get to some more answers on what is SEER. Sear, I do not know. What does it sound like to you? I, I'm thinking of searing meat, so I have no idea what that means. <laughs> the only thing sear I know is how you sear your steak. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Or re sear some robot. <laughs> That's okay. about it, I know. I do not know what S-E-E-R is. All I can think of is a sear. Um, if I had to guess, it's an acronym for something else. I have no idea, though. I have no clue on that. Guess? I never, never, never heard of it. Okay. Never heard of it before. So, uh, SEER is an acronym: Seasonal Energy Efficiency Rating. And then finally, what is SEER? S E E R. SEER is Seasonal Energy Efficiency Ratio. I hate you right now. And it's uh, what it is. Uh, in case you wanted to know, was it's a thing that the government applies to different uh, HVAC units. So it's kind of like gas mileage for cars. I hate you right now. <laughs> she heard the answers that I gave to someone else. Okay, so what exactly is SEER? So SEER stands for Seasonal Energy Efficiency Ratio. And it's essentially a number that is actually a little complicated and it's sometimes oversimplified when folks are talking about different heating and air systems. But ultimately, it's a number that the government will attach to a system. And it's not necessarily the government. There's AHRI and there's, there's a bunch of ins and outs to it. But basically, it's supposed to be an easy way for homeowners to be able to compare two systems for you to be able to say how much gas mileage for example you know like a car that's the best analogy i can use how much gas mileage does it get it doesn't necessarily mean if you don't do certain things correctly like keeping your tires the proper air pressure and keeping the car maintained and all that fun stuff it doesn't necessarily mean you're definitely going to get this gas mileage sear is kind of like that that sear is ultimately a number that you can kind of compare two systems and say, okay, this one is supposed to be a little more efficient. And they've changed those numbers over the years. There's minimum ratings of systems that can be sold that keeps rising as years go on. We've also seen the invention of SEER 2, which is supposed to be a better representation on comparing these systems. And as we continue to move forward, we see folks using all kinds of different ratings to compare these systems. For example, when they introduced the Inflation Reduction Act, a few years ago, they are looking at more than just SEER when they're comparing these systems and making sure that it is an energy saving system. So I don't think it's the end all be all, but it, again, it stands for seasonal energy efficiency ratio. If you are comparing systems, knowing that the higher the number, the more efficient that system should be. I think there's other things you should be looking at like other ratings. HSPF is one, COP is another. And then ultimately what type of technology it is. Is it 
say a communicating inverter system that even if the sear isn't quite as high as some systems that are out there, it's going to be significantly more efficient than say a single or two stage system with just as high of a sear rating. The technology is superior, if you will. Contractors will throw numbers like sear around. In fact, they'll sometimes compare systems and say good, better, best type deal. We did a video that I'll put a link to down in the description of this video where we actually show you other contractors' bids and how they compare systems and so on using SEER and other things like that. So click that video if you are interested in seeing what some of the quotes look like across the country, why things are so expensive. I love the aviators, by the way. That's gonna be like, they're like, this dude's so cool. Yep. Yeah, is that right? Uh, it's impressively close. Okay. What is a capacitor? Something off Back to the Future. That's what he said. <laughs> what, what's it called? A flux, flux capacitor. <laughs> and what do you think that capacitor does? Something with the car. <laughs> the time machine. What temperature do you keep your thermostat at? You guys are gonna... I'm little, but I... What, during the winter or, the, or are you talking about summer? Do you keep it two different temperatures? Okay, what, what are the two? Well, right now, since the summer, um, I bet it's on like 75. Okay. Yeah. And in winter, it's on like 93. Woo! That's warm. <laughs> There's no wrong answers. I just. Oh, okay. So I'm, I'm little and I, yeah. I have to be warm. I just want to be cozy. And I don't like to wear a lot of clothes. If you like this video, I think you'll like this one even more. It's where we talk to homeowners on the street and ask them, what is a heat pump? Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.